Hello everyone, I am Arif Irfanullah and in this brief clip I will talk to you about your preparation for the CFA exam. But before I go there, I just hope that you and your families are staying safe in these very difficult times. I also trust that this global lockdown has given you an opportunity to expand your intellectual and spiritual horizons and that you've had an opportunity to spend more time with your family and friends. Now coming to the level 3 exam, the good news is that the CFA Institute has announced that the exam will be on 5th December for the Americas and EMEA and on 6th December for the Asia Pacific region. You also have the option to defer your exam to June 2021 and the curriculum will remain unchanged. So you need to make a decision whether to take the exam in 2020 or next year which is 2021. My recommendation is that unless there is a good reason otherwise take the exam in December. Coming now to study advice, the first thing you should do is update your schedule. When you stopped studying, there might have been some topics that are still remaining. Therefore, the first thing you should do is complete those topics. Once you've completed those topics, you can start your revision and practice. Do the curriculum examples and the practice problems at the end of every reading. Sometimes candidates skip these examples and practice problems during their first round of study. But now that you have more time, you need to make sure that you do these curriculum examples and practice problems. Also, do the IFT question bank for each reading. For level 3 candidates, it is particularly important to take the structured response questions very seriously. Now that you have more time, you can actually write your structured responses, also called the essay responses, and then have somebody give you feedback as to whether you are addressing these questions properly or not. Sometimes candidates write too much, sometimes they write too little, sometimes they don't get to the point. You need to make sure that you are addressing these questions properly. So get feedback from somebody you trust. You can also do our mock exams or at least one mock exam and then submit it to us for grading. This way you will get feedback on how you are performing. We've also shared several videos with level 3 candidates on how to answer the essay exam questions. I would strongly recommend that you complete this round of revision and practice by the end of September. This will then give you two months before the actual exam. In the final two months, you should do another round of revision and practice and this should involve doing the assessments which are on the CFA Institute website. You should do the IFT mock exams and the CFA Institute mock exams. My final word of advice is that you should take your studies very seriously because this year all candidates have more time to study and that means that the minimum passing score will probably be higher than usual. And to meet that threshold, obviously, you need to be better prepared relative to earlier years. So make sure that you get your studies in. Make sure you practice as much as possible. In particular, I will re-emphasize that you should do all the curriculum examples, the practice problems, also do the IFT questions. And then in the final few months, do all the questions that are available on the CFA Institute website and do as many mock exams as possible. If you follow this advice, there is a very good chance that you will clear your final major hurdle on the path to receiving your charter. So that is it for now. Just make sure that you stay safe, keep your family safe, and in parallel, try to do as much studying as possible. All the best. Bye-bye.